Hey everyone, my name is Eric. Today, I'm very excited to unbox Yukitel's brand new power station model, the Abel P5000. The battery capacity of this beast is 5,120 watt hours, hence the name, the P5000. All right, let's get to it. The first thing I notice is these wheels on the side. They work together with the rod that you can pull out on the other side. Just push the button and it comes out. Just like a suitcase. So this feature really helps you move the unit around. For example, from your car into the tent when you go camping. I mean, although this one is the lightest 5,000 watt hours power station in the world, it still weighs 53 kilograms. Another nice touch about the design is this compartment over here. Just press to open it. In it, you can find an info card, the user manual, of course, in different languages. And here are three cables for different charging options. For example, this one is for charging from your car. As you can see, this is a cigarette lighter plug at 12 volts. And the second one is for solar charging. It's got a very wide range from 12 volts to 120, 120 volts. And the last one is for AC charging at 220 volts in Europe or 110 volts in North America. Down below the cooling fans is the charging section. When it comes to charging, we have to talk about safety. The battery in this unit is lithium iron phosphate battery, which is very safe and also has a very long life cycle. And over here, we have this overload protection switch. This one functions whenever there is a current that is so large that it poses danger to this unit, it will function and cuts it off. And here is the input for AC charging. The maximum input power is 1,800 watts, which is done by design because 1,800 watts is the maximum output power of most in-wall outlets. Moving on, we have this switch over here between slow charging and quick charging. The reason for this design is that there are some houses that are quite old and their output power is not that high. So when that is the case, you can switch to slow charging to sit, suit the situation better. And last but not least, we have the input for solar panel charging and also charging from your car. The maximum input power for this one is 1000 watts. And now we're looking at the output panel of the P5000. As we can see, the rated output power is 2200 watts. And the panel is divided into three sections. The DC section, the USB section, and the AC section. All right, let's switch it on. Now instantly, various information is displayed on the screen. For example, the discharge hours, and the battery power and so on. So each section has its own individual switch, which means we can switch each section on uh, separately. And various icons on the screen correspond to the different sections. For example, uh, this one stands for the USB section, this one st stands for the AC section and so on. So let's look at the plugs, uh, I mean outlets. In the DC section, we have this one that you can connect, connect to your devices with a cigarette lighter plug at 12 volts. And we have the aviation out, output at, at 24 volts. Also two extra one at 12 volts. Now in, in the USB section, 
at the top, we have two USB-A outputs at 5 volts, 2 amperes. And in the middle, these two USB-A ports support QC 3.0, which stands for Quick Charge 3.0 at 18 watts. And last but not least, these two USB-C outputs support the charging protocol PD at 100 watts. So there are indeed a lot of options. And now we come to the AC section. As we can see, there are four outputs at 20 amperes maximum. So your appliances or whatever, you can plug them into these outputs. And here, this, this big one functions at 30 amperes maximum. All right, let's see the P5000 in action. Over here, we've got a water boiler. The, the power of this thing is 900 watts. So uh, it's well below the rated output power of the P5000. And we've got about uh, 1.2 liters of water. So uh, let's plug it in. It's already on. And meanwhile, we can take advantage of the PD output here to quick charge my cell phone. Looks like our water is boiling. Let's make some tea now. All right, we're at our workshop using this cutting machine of 1,800 watts. Let's give it a go. So if we plug the P5000 in the inward outlet, then it starts AC charging and uh, uh, because the switch is at uh, quick charge right now so there is this little green icon the battery icon uh, that indicates that the unit is now charging fast of course you can uh, you can switch it off to slow charging according to, according to your needs so in the fast charging mode it takes about three hours for the battery, battery to uh, receive its full capacity. While if you uh, combine this, combine AC charging with so solar charging uh, simultaneously, you can charge the battery to full in less than two hours, about two hours, which is really fast.